Hi, I'm Wesley Grammer, and I'm with Dorian Francis and Patrick Todd, and welcome to In Your Face. The first topic today is the top three players in the NBA. What are your guys' thoughts? Well, I personally think that I have an opinion that most people would not agree with. I would not put Steph Curry in the top three players in the NBA. Um, I would put Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook in no particular order. I believe that Steph Curry should not be in the top three because he's just a shooter. Other than that, yes, he has ball handling skills, but he's not a true passer. He should, he's really a two guard that's trapped in a point guard's body. I think if he were to play as a small forward or a shooting guard, or, he just wouldn't be up to the level of LeBron James and Kevin Durant. I personally think in order it's LeBron James, Steph Curry, and KD. Because cause LeBron James has, is a proven leader, a proven all-around great player, three championships, came down from 3-1 against the Warriors, and he's a great all-around um, athlete and basketball player. Steph Curry, um, even though he's not the best defender, he is a proven all-time great shooter, maybe the greatest of all time, proving that he is a winner on the highest level. And KD hasn't had, doesn't have a ring right now, but he's still a very, very, very elite scorer and get, can get it done in all weights. Um, I think those are my top three in order. All right, next subject. Um, who do you think will do better in the um, NBA, Ben Simmons or Brandon Ingram? Well, I personally think that will be Ben Simmons. Even though he cannot, he has problems shooting the ball and there are some questions about his will to play the game and passion to get better, but he's just an overall great player. He reminds me a lot of a young LeBron James. Just like LeBron James, he does not have a three-point shot or even a mid-range shot. He can get to the basket with ease and is a great natural passer. I think that he, in the long term, he'll be the better player. I think long term, Brandon Ingram will be the better player because he has proven he can shoot from deep. And he is long, versatile. He can play one through five, in my opinion. Um, he was a star player at Duke. And I think that he can learn to play better defense and learn to rebound a little, a little better. And I think he'll be an all-around superstar in the league, kind of like KD, in my opinion. Well, the reason why I think Ben Simmons definitely has a little bit over Brandon Ingram is because Brandon Ingram doesn't have the natural ability that Ben Simmons have has. <laughs> Brandon Ingram does not have the natural ability to pass the ball. You know, he's longer. Maybe, you know, we can get hands on balls, play better defense, stuff like that. Um, ben Simmons, he can easily fix his shot. And once he gets his shot up to an all-star caliber, all -star caliber le level, I think he'll definitely be the better player. I think Brandon Ingram has the edge over um, Ben Simmons because he's a natural born tour. He can learn to play better defense. Ben Simmons is not the best defender. And I think him being in L.A., Brandon Ingram that being – um, they can build around him and his talents, and they could really be a dominant team in the NBA for years to come. Well, I think Ben Simmons is a great defender. I think he's a very quick. He's athletic. He can get up and down the floor, run the floor great, you know, gets blocks, gets, gets steals. I think he's a good defender. And I think that personally he'll do a great job in the league. And, yeah, that's all I have to say. All right, that's enough. Once again, thank you for watching In Your Face. I'm Wesley Grammer. This is Dorian Francis and Patrick Todd. We'll see you next time.